Pas, pas, pas.
Excellency Bonnie Shema signing the certificate.
this event is not a celebration of victory. It is simply an appreciation of the hard work of all party members who have done us proud to organize a very successful convention. I want to first thank my brother and friend, Senator David Alexanuma, and the whole team that made it possible for us to have this successful convention. Within the PDP family, we had a minor contest. It's a small contest within the family. There were no victors. There were no bankers. The party won. The party that won. I think the Bubaka is not yet victorious. It's only the producer as our candidate. The candidate of the whole party. I want to congratulate him who participated in this event. If they didn't participate, it actually would have not been a successful event. But thank God because of the popularity of our party, so many aspirants came forward. We had an initial number of 17. I think one was screened out with about 16. Along the line, when they participated all the same. I want to thank all of you aspirants for your contribution to the growth of this great party. The party appreciates you all. And as we march forward, we need all of you. Because each one of you has a supporter. And all of you, plus your all your supporters, we have only started the journey. We shall end this journey sometime next year. By the first of June next year, we should take over power. From the colorless and clueless government that has totally destroyed this country. All of you are aware of what has happened to our country in the last seven years. I don't need to repeat issues of insecurity, total disruption of the economy, total disunity of the country. We have never been as divided as we are today as a country. Families are divided, communities are divided against each other, there is no trust among ourselves. The president that is coming in is tested and trusted. He will lead us to reunite the country. He will lead us to rebuild the economy. He will lead us to get rid of bandits and terrorists. He will reinforce the armed forces. He will give us respect in the international community. Today we are a pariah state. But in the next 12 months, the whole world will begin to respect Nigeria all over. Right. I urge all of you to come together. It doesn't matter which candidate you support it. Come together, support the party, support our effort, support our candidates, the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I want to assure you that we in the National Working Committee will continue to work tirelessly because you didn't elect us to organize a successful convention. We elected us to win the presidency for you. Yes, 
You elected us to give you more commands. You elected us to give you to take control of the two houses of the National Assembly. You elected us to win all the houses of assembly across the states. We'll continue to do just that by working with you, by calling on many of you to come and help us execute these objectives. Because we can't do it alone. And we thank all party members who are bringing the, to the occasion. Many of you participated in generating delegates across the country. Many of you participated in the various committees that made it possible for all Timothy to have delegates, candidates, and conventions. It is now my singular honor and pleasure to invite my brother, my friend, my political associate for many years, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alaga Tokubata, to come forward and receive the certificate which the party has made possible for us to sign this afternoon. I will thank all of you who have come here to witness this historic occasion. Next year, we shall be inviting you for a different celebration. That will be the inauguration of President Ajitu. I present this beautiful certificate to our candidates, President Alhaji Atiku Kadubaka.
improving our lives. So let me commend the National Working Committee for transforming this place into a decent and beautiful hall. This is a clear evidence that if we have a new PDP government, we will transform this hall. When I came here in April and informed the National Working Committee of my intention to offer myself for consideration as the flag bearer of our great party, People's Democratic Party, in the forthcoming election, I was very well informed.